Hi there, my name is Marina. Welcome to the Eco Goddess YouTube channel, or if you're a returning visitor, thank you so much. On here, we talk about zero waste living, about soulful wellness, and today is a very exciting day because we're going to be taking a stroll around my kitchen. For those who have been watching me for a while, you would know that I used to operate out of what I called a minimalist kitchen, which was basically the back of this shed and it was like one hot plate. Um, I've since moved up in the world. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I now live in a home. I live with two boys. I mean, I guess they would kind of be offended. I'm looking around to see if any of them are here. They would be offended if I called them boys, so I will call them men. They're in their late 20s. And they're going to make a mess of things quickly. I cleaned the house yesterday because I did a collaboration with CBS News. They came here and did a whole story on the zero waste lifestyle and how I live zero waste, how I do it on the farm so the house is still clean I'm not sure if you can tell I mean this this is awesome I'm also not the neatest person I definitely can make a mess of things and I'm good at cleaning up great at cleaning up but when I'm like making a recipe or just doing anything stuff goes everywhere and that's just kind of who I am today we're gonna be taking a stroll around my kitchen I'm gonna show you how I maintain a low waste kitchen and the tools I use to do so so keep watching if you'd like some awesome tips that you can implement in your own kitchen. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Just like that, we're in a new location. This is my pantry. I'm actually really proud of how it looks right now because I, I just organized it. My top tips for maintaining a low waste, zero waste pantry is for your spices. I imagine you likely already have spice jars, whether they are plastic or glass. The next time you run out of a spice, head to the store with that container that's empty, get a tear on it, and if you don't know what that means or you don't know how to do that, I'll leave my video on how to do that below. Get a tear on the container and then fill it up with that said spice. So here we have some onion powder, oh no! And we have some cardamom, which I use in a lot of my Pakistani recipes or I'll put it in smoothies. It's You obviously can tell that I am a big fan of curries and turmeric because I have this massive, massive jar of turmeric that I bought in bulk and saved a lot of money on. When you buy in larger quantities, you're gonna save a dime. So that's my tip for you for your spices. Now for your bulk items, you wanna go to the store with your produce bags and then you want to fill them up with whatever it is that you wanna bring home. And in terms of containers, because I know that was a question that I had when I first went low waste, should I go out and buy all of these new containers? abso freaking newtly abso freaking lutely absolutely not. Upcycle wherever and whenever you can. This, as you can see, is an old container for, was it sauerkraut? Yes, sauerkraut. Also, before I close this pantry, I just wanna shout out my vanilla extract that I've made myself. I know, I know, you're very impressed by me. I am impressed by me too. So are my roommates. I cook a lot and I make all kinds of fun recipes and they love the vanilla extract. Now let's move on to a different counter space. I want to shut off this light because it's so bright, but I'm going to show you some kitchen essential tools that I use. Reusable silicone baggies. These are lifesavers. You will never need a plastic sandwich bag again that you have to throw away. These you can reuse over and over. They're dishwasher safe. And actually, I pulled some of them out of the dishwasher, so sorry they're kind of dirty. I mentioned this when I was in the pantry, but always upcycle containers, especially glass. These things last forever. And I love to store food in there, whether it's a soup or spaghetti, whatever it is. This is just a random container and an example of upcycle as much as you possibly can. Also, it's cute. It's very cute, right? And then another example of a container. Now this is Clean Canteen. It's metal and it actually is double insulated so it will hold the heat. So if you're on the go and you have hot oatmeal or a soup or something, that's a really great tool for that. Moving on to the fridge. The fridge. Okay, I'm gonna have to take you down. I'm gonna have to show you. Um, I would like all of you to guess which, which shelf is mine. A. B, C, or D? Your girl likes the D. 
terrible joke and terribly inappropriate. No, my my shelf is is D. This is just a tip for keeping your veggies fresh. Put them in water, and perhaps I make a whole video on this, but I like to store all of my fresh veggies. I usually, staples are broccoli and carrots and lettuce. I like to put them directly in water, like in a little vase, or as you can see here, I've used just a teacup, and then I put them in the fridge. This is this. Focus, focus. This is some homemade coconut yogurt. I also make my own granola and I will use this as a post-workout meal or a snack, a late night snack. If you'd like the recipe to coconut yogurt or a video on how to make it, let me know down below. Tips on how to maintain a zero waste, low waste fridge. Really when it comes down to it, you're going to want to source your produce package free. How do you do that? I would recommend going to the local farmer's market if you can, bring your own produce bags and your own tote bags and then stock up on all of your things. Oftentimes, farmer's market vendors will be very grateful if you decide to hand a container or an elastic band back because those are resources that they can reuse again. In terms of avoiding packaging for sauces and things like that, I would recommend first to DIY. And I really love to do this. I'll DIY my own ranch or my own cat up and things like that but I do also understand that times get busy I can definitely relate to this and so when I am busy in a week I'll go and source a sauce from the store that is packaged but I'll make sure that it's in a container that I can then reuse most of the time I like to source any packaged product in a glass jar because glass jars I reuse in the home endlessly now on to our freezer I don't have too many things in here but I wanted to show you something in particular first is that I like to freeze foods especially Especially ones that we grow from the farm so that I can eat them year round. You see passion fruit here, persimmons, so I like to do that. And then also this bag. Why am I showing you this bag? Because it's awesome, it holds all of our compost. So we've tried the bin, we've tried a lot of different things. Bin causes fruit flies, whereas the bag that you just throw in the freezer keeps it nice and frozen and no smell, no bugs, it's awesome. So that's what I would recommend if you wanna have a compost situation. If you can't have your own pile, take it to the farmer's market or someplace that you can find locally that will accept your compost. Now moving on to appliances, zero waste appliances slash home tools. This is the first one that I wanted to show you guys. I love this thing. Okay, I didn't used to like coffee that much and I've now become a very big coffee. Coffee? No, I've become a very big coffee enthusiast and this is great. It's a French press that you can reuse over and over again. You grind the coffee beans, you stick them in there, you pour the boiling water, then you put this thing and you like shove it down and then bam! You got yourself some fresh coffee. And speaking of which, speaking of which, let me show you something amazing. Look at this, my friends. This is a vintage coffee grinder. And actually my, my partner, Joshua, he made this thing, as in like he took the vintage thing. And um, anyways, he actually, he made this wood thing. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's like wood, wood artists and stuff, but look at that. could do this all day. It's honestly very therapeutic. Anyways, so you're gonna wanna get a grinder if you don't have a grinder. As for the coffee beans themselves, we do source them organically and fair tradely. Fair trade. I think that's fine, just fair trade in bulk. We go to the grocery store. You can find Whole Foods, Sprouts, Jimbo's, a lot of places. If you're coffee lovers, buy your coffee in bulk. The next appliance that I just wanna highlight is the blender. Now, you don't need a blender to be low waste, but something that I love about the blender is that I can do endless recipes with this baby. I mean, I make nut milk, I make sauces, I make soups. If you can, get a blender in your kitchen and you can have so much fun with it. You can always see if you can find one second hand and that's gonna be at a yard sale or you could even go on an app like OfferUp. I just discovered this app like the other day and you can find things that people are trying to get rid of or next door. Next door is a great one. The next thing 
is a reusable water boiler. We use this thing and we love it. I mean, I'm a huge fan of a tea kettle. Just put water and then put it on the stove. We actually, our whole entire property is connected to solar, so we don't use any electricity. Super excited about that. But we do have this water boiler that's literally broken and we are gonna use it for as long as we possibly can. Water boiler is great though if you are super big into teas or making your coffee. The last thing that I just wanna highlight is the crock pot. Um, I don't know how this could make you more low waste. You know, I know how. If you buy your beans, legumes, and such in bulk or your lentils, you can make your own stew. You just turn it on and then bam, you got yourself an amazing zero waste meal. So that's just one of the things that we have. In the sink area, you will find a broken but still fully functional biodegradable dish sponge. This is made from plant fibers here and this is a great switch. We use this on our dishes to scrubby dubby dub them and they're looking great, they're shiny. At the end of its life, we will just throw it in the compost pile because fun fact, stainless steel will eventually rust and just biodegrade into the soil so we also really love homemade cleaners um, if you guys have watched that YouTube video where I share my recipes I'll leave that link down below we use the glass cleaner in here for the stove and then we also use the fridge cleaner we also have a granite cleaner for the countertops just because it looks pretty and I want to show you these are all of our farm fresh veggies everything we've grown on the farm there's some rosemary uh, a curry a fresh herb and lacinato kale oh my god never use a paper towel again how you may ask with the miracle of a reusable towel. I would recommend having two categories of towels. Towels that can get dirty and can take a stain or two and then the nicer towels that you'll hang, um, not like that, um, hang on the stove or something like that. You know, holiday towels and things like that. Lastly, soap. How do we clean our dishes, right? I'm sure you're wondering. I like to source our soap in bulk from the Nada Shop, which is a local zero waste store. If you don't have a zero waste store or a place that you can source your dish soap in bulk, package free, I'd recommend getting a very large thing of soap from the store. A good recommendation for a store like this is Costco. I know they have a biodegradable and eco-friendly brand there. Rather than just buying a lot of individual containers, you can just buy a big thing and then perhaps reuse the container at the end of its life. Now in terms of pans and things like that, things to cook on, we like to use cast iron and you can probably see our two cast iron. We have a large one and a smaller one right there. And if we are cooking something in the oven, old me used to use parchment paper and then throw it away. New me doesn't use any parchment paper at all. In fact, I just usually put oil on my pan and then I will stick that in the oven. However, if you wanna invest in something that will last you a really long time, there are reusable silicone pads that you can use in place of parchment paper. I'll leave a link down below to that. But that's what I personally do is I just use a little dab of oil and that works great for me. Cooking oil, because I know some of you are gonna have that question. For cooking oil, we like to use this avocado oil. I've just put it in this reusable container, but we do buy a huge thing of it at Costco. It's just what's most economical for us. And unfortunately, we can't find avocado oil here in bulk. You can find cooking oil, such as olive oil, in bulk here in San Diego, there's this place called Baker and Olive. And so when I wanna get really fancy schmancy with my oil, I'll go there. It's definitely on the pricier side, so it's not something that I do often. And as I mentioned, this huge thing of avocado oil, I don't have the container anymore, but we get a really big thing of it and it's just what is most economical for us. Now I am walking out of the kitchen to come here. This is our basket with lots of things in it. We have produce bags, we have tote bags, and I put this near the door intentionally so that there is no excuse for forgetting them when we are on our way out to the store. So that is my kitchen tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it perhaps got some ideas going on how to zero wasteify your own kitchen at home. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I always love receiving your thumb likes. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Also, if you wanna be notified when I post a video, be sure to hit that bell next to the subscribe button which notifies you when I make a post. Now, one of my roommates is outside, so let's hope he doesn't walk in while I'm doing this, but 
I just want to show you guys their cabinet. <laughs> this is literally like how I used to shop and I, I'm not shaming this. I'm not saying this is wrong even though it does kind of make me go crazy. That's theirs. This is mine. Okay, whose is better? Vote. That or that. I mean, we all know that is just sexier, right?